Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back. In this Project Life Process video, I am working on my 2018 album and this is week 49, so it's in December. And I'll be using Allie Edwards' Story by the Month kit. That is her December-themed kit. So I'm excited to be able to jump in and get these stories told. So the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is stamp right onto this heart wood veneer. So I grabbed over the stamp set and there's a larger stamp that actually fit really well on this large heart. Now, it did cut off just a little bit, but I'm gonna stamp multiple times. So I knew that I'd be able to get the feel for what this stamp says, especially because I think it was like the T, the H in the, which was kind of getting cut off a little bit. So you could definitely read what it had to say. And so I stamped multiple times and then I went ahead and I used some white embossing powder and put white embossing powder on top of that and then just heat set it so you can see how magic it is once you heat set that embossing powder. And then I just am setting it aside and then I'm going to work with the remainder of my spread or work with my photos. So I actually printed one large photo out. This was of myself and it's actually fun to be able to work on these photos in December because the a lot of these photos, some of them, I shouldn't say a lot, but some of them end up in my December daily album and some of them do not. So I, I like being able to really extend the stories for my December daily because you can only really tell one story or I choose to just tell one story, you know, per day. So there's a lot of other stories in the month of December per week that I would love to be able to tell, which is why I still do my project life in December. So I know not everybody does, but I definitely do because there's a lot more photos and more to say. So you can also see that I just went ahead and I got some red cardstock and cut it down so it was a four by six. And I'm just moving things around and trying to get the feel for how I want this layout to look. So I'm going through the cards that came in the kit and I'm also pulling some of the photos that I have printed. These are three by four photos with a white border. I tend to do that these days, put the four by sixes without a border and then um, the three by fours with a photo. And then I'm just putting the other cards down. I really liked the, that this December heart card, but I felt like it was a really, it was a different color than that other red card stock. So I felt that it clashed a little bit, but you know, after doing this video, I really like it. So I think I might end up putting it as a flip, but I'll, I'll get into that um, in a minute when I talk about what actually replaces it. So on this wood veneer, I decided to uh, use one of the um, phrase stickers. There's a f some phrase stickers that come in the kit as well. So I decided to put one right on top of that and I just felt like it kind of rounded it out and just added a really simple element to it. And I really like that it is dimensional. So I used foam dots to pop that up. And then I'm looking at the chipboard that came in the kit. So the chip, the kits always come with some chipboard as well. So there is a great assortment of supplies to help you to be able to get several Project Life spreads done. So I really love that about these kits. And now I think I'm just gonna start on this journaling. So this journaling, I love this card that says there's other stuff that happens in December that's not just about the holidays. And I love that card, it's so, so true that there's so much going on in our everyday life. So I definitely wanted to include a story there. And then I had these printed out, these Instax printed out from December Daily actually that I put in the page protector and I knew that I would use them. So instead of you know printing out the photos, I just went ahead and I used the Instax. I think I was gonna use my Instax in my December Daily and then I decided not to. So I think that's why I had them left over. So then I just ended up, you know, stacking them on top of each other and then using one of the chipboards 
And then I didn't like how white felt, just really white. And I felt like it needed a base or some kind of grounding. So I put a white border around it. You'll see that I do that one more time with one of the three by four cards. And then I'm just adding another piece of chipboard. So because that card I was working on with Instax is so white, I wanted to add the date somewhere. And I was thinking about doing it at the bottom of the photo where there is room, but then I thought, oh, you know what? Let's do one of the word phrases. I believe I did this in my travel album and I really like the way it looked. So I decided to do that at the bottom to just add a little bit more and then to add the date stamp there on the side. So I liked those additions. I felt like it really added. And then um, I, I think I add the date stamp in more places. I haven't been really doing that lately. I used to do it a lot and um, I did it for this one and I actually really liked the way it turned out and I, well, I should do that more. So you can see that I once again set aside that this is December card and I did that in lieu of adding one more story to my spread. So while I did like the way it looked and I felt like it added that pop of red, what I really wanted to do is added, I wanted another story and so I will always choose a story over a design card. And in fact, what I was thinking of while I was editing this video is instead of just scrapping that card and not putting it in the layout at all because it doesn't end up in this layout, I think what I'm gonna do is make it a flip pocket so it can go over some of the journaling, but that uh, I still get that big pop of red that I think will go with the other pop of red in the right corner. So hopefully that all makes sense. So while I was chatting, you can see that I got the majority of my journaling done are two more cards. One of those cards was about my children making uh, Christmas gifts for their friends. And then the other one was about December daily beginning and getting underway and how much I love that project because it helps me to really get in the Christmas spirit and it really helps me to have a lot of joy during the season. So that's one of the big reasons why I do that project. And then you can see I just added one more story on a card that I created myself. And again, I felt that it was really white and that it needed something to kind of help ground it. And so I did the same thing that I did before and just outlined the card. I was having problems with my pen, it kept skipping. And so uh, I was having kind of issues. You can see that I have to go back and fill in some spots there. But anyway, it worked out. I probably am losing ink and need a new pen, but I really do like those Ink Joy pens. So the final thing I'm gonna do with my journaling is to put a date stamp on there. Like I said, I added date stamps to all of them and I really loved the way that looked this time. Once again, I'm pulling over the word phrase stickers and I'm just going to add it to one of the photos. What I love so much about the word phrase stickers is that there's so many options. They will, they can definitely work for a variety of stories. So I like being able to just look through them and pick and choose and know that regardless, there's always gonna be something that's gonna go along with my photos in the spread for that week. So I actually kept going back and forth and was trying to decide which phrase would be the best for this card and I can't remember what I went with, but I just really loved, love the look of having those phrase stickers on the photos. All right, so now I'm pretty much done with this spread except for the title card. And because it's so dark gray, I decided to do the same embossing technique. I grabbed over my anti-static powder bag and put that on first just so I wouldn't get, you know, embossing powder all over the place. And then I used my same date stamp with some Versamark ink and I stamped right onto the card. And then I'm adding the white embossing powder. And then I'm just gonna melt that on. Uh, you definitely want to be careful when doing it on top of you know the paper you don't want the paper to warp it kind of did a little bit so i was trying to go front and back just to kind of even out the heat and in the end i thought it was okay you can also see that i have a film from the anti-static bag still kind of on that dark card cardstock and i actually will wipe it off a little bit better once that embossing powder has had a chance to dry. You don't wanna do it right away. You definitely wanna wait for it to dry. 
and I am completely done with this spread. I'm gonna add one more of the word phrase stickers onto the photo, just trying to figure out exactly where I want it to go, and then I am completely done with this spread. So now that you can see the finished week, do you know what I mean about having another big pop of red? So having that this is December card would have looked really great and I'm definitely gonna go back and add it as a flip. Now you won't see it in the photos because I've already taken the photos, but I think it will really round out this spread. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my YouTube channel. And if you would like to see more, definitely subscribe so you don't miss anything. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next one. Bye.